Hi, welcome to my tutorial on inputting and outputting strings. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to make us a label under dot data and I'm going to call it my word. And to, to reserve some space on this on this string or label, I'm going to type in dot space and I want to reserve about 20 characters of space. When I say 20 characters, each character is one ASCII letter. So in other words, this will reserve 20 letters or 20 characters. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that I, I'll be able to input a value inside my MIPS program. To do that, we have to use a syscall 8. So first, I'm just going to automatically do load v0 load immediate v0 8 and do a syscall now by this alone it doesn't do anything what you need to do is you need to make us you need to let the program know where you want to save your string into so I'm going to I want to save my string inside my word so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the address of my word into the into the register a0 so what that is is the address of my word into a0 the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that I only I'll be only able to input eight characters so the way you do that is you do load immediate a1 and you type in eight so whatever value is in A1 is the amount of characters that you're you're able to type in. Usually if you type in 8, it'll give you one less, so only 7 characters. It's usually one less than the number you put into A1. And finally we have load immediate v08 and this is called and then the load immediate v010 which ends our program. Now let's see how this runs. So I'm going to assemble it and I'm going to run and here on the bottom you can see that in Mars that it gives you a place to type your characters. So I'm going to type in hello world, H-E-L-L-O-W. As you can see the program finished on, on W. The reason for this is we only reserved eight spaces or eight characters less than that is seven seven characters inside a1 so if you want to be able to type in our whole entire hello world I'm gonna change this into 12 characters now let's see what happens run assemble and I run my code and H-E-L-L-O space W-R-L-D and there you go you can now type in your whole entire whole entire string hello world without it it without it finishing by itself now if you noticed I didn't press enter after I typed in D and I didn't press enter after I typed in W just to let you know so now we have we have hello world saved inside my word now what I want to do is I want to print out my word and and let's see what that gives. I'm going to give it two more spaces, a total of 12, 13, 14 spaces because I want to type in backslash n at the end of my string. So I'm going to load immediate v0 with 4 and do a syscall. What load immediate v04 does is outputs whatever value is inside a0 and in this case my word inside is inside a0 or the address of my word is inside a0 you need to remember that the actual your string whatever you type in is not inside a0 what you what is inside a0 is the address of my word and we'll go into that a little bit later so now let's see what happens so I'm going to run and I'm going to assemble and I'm going to run my code and so I'm going to type in hello world and I'm going to do a backslash n and as you can see the backslash n didn't work out very well but as you see 
it ran the code I was able to input my string and the backslash n and I was able to print out whatever was in my a0 and that's how you input and output a string using MIPS.